So last Thursday night, I got to go see the Deadpool 2 movie, and I gotta say guys, I absolutely love the movie. And instead of doing a movie review, I personally really wanted to do a top 10 Deadpool 2 Easter egg video, really going on all of the different Easter eggs within the Deadpool 2 movie, and which 10 were actually my favorite. How's it going, Webheads? My name is Ryan Walsh, and if you guys like the Deadpool 2 movie, and you guys want more videos on Deadpool in the future, definitely consider subscribing to Webhead, and click the bell notification so you guys don't miss a thing. Of course, I do want to tell everybody there will be spoilers ahead for Deadpool 2, so if you haven't seen the movie, click off now, go see the movie, and then come back so you can go through all these Easter eggs with me. Alrighty, Webhead, so basically in this video, I'm going to be going through my top 10 Easter eggs. There are a lot more Easter eggs within Deadpool 2 than just 10 of them, but I'm going to be starting off with number 10 and going all the way up to my very favorite within the movie at number one. So let's start off with number 10, and that is when Deadpool actually calls Domino the Black Black Widow. I absolutely loved all of the MCU references that Deadpool actually makes in this movie because Domino is basically the Black Widow of this franchise. I love that whole little reference. It's really good. From really looking at it from our perspectives of the movie, we didn't know that he was going to be doing that throughout the whole movie. In the trailers, he did say, pump the hate breaks Thanos, but actually there was a report that came out that I did a video on that actually Deadpool 2 was not allowed to put any Disney references or MCU references within the movie. So I'm really happy that they actually left it in the movie. And obviously Disney and the MCU, like Kevin Feige, all of them were just kind of like, you know what, it's not a big deal. Put these MCU references in, who cares? Put them in, It's you just make fun of us. It's a lot of fun. At number nine, I have Shut Up Thanos. This is when Deadpool is talking to Cable and basically just says Shut Up Thanos. I love, once again, the MCU reference and I just love how they basically are acknowledging that Cable is Thanos. I really really wanted that to be in the movie and I'm so happy they pointed that out because Deadpool is the character to point that stuff out that Josh Brolin is going to be playing not only Cable but also Thanos and for a lot of people that were in the audience I definitely noticed that people did not know that actually he did play both characters so it was really cool that they basically shined a light on that I really like that a lot. Next up is the Alpha Flight Easter egg that actually was on top of Dopender's taxi there was an advertisement on top of the taxi that actually said Alpha Flight teasing that awesome superhero Canadian team and I honestly really like that they did that because this is not a really common Marvel team. This is a very uncommon Marvel team and I just love how they teased them and I like all the references to Canada and all that and of course since they're a Canadian team and so isn't Ryan Reynolds it was just really cool to see all of that. I personally hope that in future Deadpool movies they don't just make a reference to it they actually bring maybe the Sasquatch in or other Alpha Flight characters. I think that would be awesome. At number seven I really like the Easter egg of when Deadpool is actually battling the Juggernaut and yes I love the Juggernaut in this movie he was awesome way better than that other Juggernaut that we got in 2006 but now really looking at it when Deadpool was actually fighting Juggernaut we actually heard Deadpool say the sun's getting real low and I love that they did that because that's another shout out to the MCU and really just how Black Widow actually calmed down the Hulk and also they did the same thing in Thor Ragnarok when actually we saw the Hulk versus Thor fight within the gladiator arena on Sakaar so I love that they did that and I thought it was really funny it definitely caught me off guard I was laughing so hard in the theater just watching that after this Vanisher was a little part of the movie along with those other X-Force characters but when Vanisher actually appeared for the first time when he's actually dying and getting electrocuted you do see Brad Pitt within this shot and I loved how they put Brad Pitt in there I personally was like holy crap is that Brad Pitt I didn't really understand it at first but then I was just like this is so Deadpool because he would just put a huge high-class actor in that little role and I just actually liked that Vanisher when he was jumping out of the airplane he was just a backpack it really was just completely invisible body and there was just a backpack I thought that was so funny at number four Five, when they actually made fun of Rob Liefeld who actually created Deadpool when they basically made the feet joke and they basically called out Rob Liefeld because he cannot drop feet to save his own life that is a very common thing because if you just look at all of his comic books they're not absolutely horrible but they're not the best feet in the world and I can tell you right now he's had some pretty horrific drawings especially this Captain America shot so I think it definitely earned him a spot as an Easter egg within this movie. At number four is Hawkeye when they really just referenced Hawkeye within the jail when Deadpool actually had the collar that completely took out his mutant abilities. He said give me a bow and arrow and I'm basically as useless as Hawkeye. So I love how they took a jab at Hawkeye and basically what the MCU is really kind of showing Hawkeye to be 
in reality, Hawkeye is kind of useless to the Avengers in those movies, so I like how Deadpool pokes fun at that and has no problem poking fun of Hawkeye or the MCU, and he just continues to do it. Number three, it's Wolverine's death from the Logan movie, and I loved how the movie started. We just got this little toy of actually Logan, and you see that a like, branch is going through him just like it happened within the Logan movie, and I love how we actually got that cameo and he's poking fun at Wolverine because obviously Wolverine is an ongoing joke with Deadpool because Wolverine is the high class character within the Fox X-Men universe and of course everybody wants to see Wolverine and they always treat Wolverine as the biggest character but now Deadpool is always poking fun at that because now he's basically the biggest character within that entire Fox universe. Next up is the Fox and Friends reference. Instead of actually saying what we saw in the trailer where he says pump the hate breaks Thanos, he actually says pump the hate breaks Fox and Friends. And this isn't really confirmed but in my eyes I thought he was actually talking about 20th Century Fox and Disney actually merging. So that's what I personally got from it and I think I'm probably right from that because that just makes the most sense and that definitely caught me off guard but I thought it was a really clever joke to put in this because I wanted to see a lot of Disney and Fox merger references in this movie. And at number one, my favorite Easter egg in this movie. I absolutely love this Easter egg. It's basically when Shatterstar actually comes in and he's doing the interview to actually become one of the X-Force members. And Deadpool actually asks a little bit about him. He's actually from Mojo World and he actually battled there. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with the X-Men comic books, Mojo World is actually an entire world, basically kind of like Sakaar was. Instead of the Grandmaster, there's actually a giant like blob machine creature called Mojo and he runs this entire gladiatorial battle, taking all these mutants and he actually puts them into a gladiatorial battle so they can fight to the death in order to entertain all the people on the planet. So that's really what Mojo is. And I thought this was really cool because this is something that's definitely a really deep cut. I'm not that big of a Mojo fan. I actually think he's pretty gross and kind of dumb in a way, but I do kind of want to see him on screen one day. And I think just giving subtle references to him definitely could be something that would really be cool in the future if we ever got to see that. But guys, if you like this video and you guys want to see more on Deadpool and the MCU going forward, definitely check out the two videos I already have posted on my channel. Also, definitely consider subscribing right over here for future Deadpool and MCU videos. And definitely consider turning on the bell notifications so you guys don't miss a thing. But guys, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye-bye.